We seek to address colonial legacies and racial injustice, and we are tackling racism from a structural, institutional, and interpersonal level. And in here with the Race, Race and Climate Justice Collective, we focus our endeavors around the 13th recommendation framework, which comes out to talk about international solidarity, um, talk about centering those most, mar more, most marginalized and most affected, and also to move away from just relying on Eurocentric solutions. So here today, we are gathered because for decades, as Mama Di said, or even centuries, we have experienced the impact of the damage of wrongful actions and decisions from those who are unable to recognize our inherent connection with the earth. Um, and so much more than ever before, collective care is so essential. So in this creative session, uh, we are going to explore how to communicate ourselves around the loss and damage which is being experienced by those ordinary people in the earth, irrespective of our, of our rights of self-determination as a result of colonialism. Um, so we're here to come together and to explore that creatively. I forgot what it was like to be in my body and to laugh with people, such small things it takes, like moving your mouth very weirdly to feel like you are coming home. Climate justice is collective care. Planet care is not just for those who love the earth. The racial justice movement is a movement that ensures injustice becomes the illusion. The earth will be the protagonist and collective care realized and celebrated. Uh, imagining Pluribus is no first, second or third world where our guardianship connections to nature, including humanity is the measure, not GDP, the military might. Safety in the mines begins in our minds. So I will be mindful that we can't eat dust, that my light is your darkness, that the people will defend what is theirs. Safety in the mines begins in our minds. So I will be mindful that money comes and money goes, but that this will only have wants, that people have to eat. Safety in the minds begins in our minds. So I will be mindful that when mining begins, safety ends. Who listens to the earth when the earth speaks? To the howl of the wind, the chatter of the river, and the beating of the sun? Who cries when the earth cries? when the machines excavate and factories pollute? Who pays when the earth pays with their safety, stability and their lives? Who rises when the earth rises with the floods, the sun and the seas? Who fights when the earth fights with the storms, the droughts and the plagues? Who survives when the earth survives? Look me in the eyes and see my pain as I look into yours and together we gain a better understanding of each other's fears. The confusion, the paralysis, the cloud, it clears. Together we must strive for justice and solidarity. We must follow communi community leaders on that I have clarity. So consider your position and the baggage it brings. Racial justice is central give your air to its wing. How much do we live to just spend, shop and buy as if we really desire to cause so many others to die? When industrialists set up their plans and protocols to plunder, it's the sheer weight of their greed tearing communities asunder. How complicit are we with this foul strategy, how short-sighted, how invested, how caught up or how deep in the nefarious nepotisms which like spreading parasites creep when we look away, put things off for another day, when we mute our power and fail to have our say, 
What are the consequences felt and impact on life ecologies, understanding that this is knowledge to use to earth, save earth families? How do we stand in solidarity? By reconnecting with land and the soil here. So many different kinds of soil, but do we know the soil in our neighbor's garden? Is it the same as ours or packaged up from far away? How can we stand on that soil and say we understand the earth when it comes from a bag and what is beneath our feet was once elsewhere? Before we stand with those on soil that is far from ours, we must look at our own soil. Ancestral wisdom will carry us through. This truth and knowledge will forge us like a river forward to a future of bliss. We are so broken, so few have broken so much, and yet black people are in the global majority. What can we do in, those so, in these so-called developed world and what can we do? Should we prepare for climate change? Should we work to affect change? Do we do both things at the same time? Can we? Now we need to talk of water, of the ocean within us and outside of us that joins us to each other in the world. We swim in the tides of past, present and future. Now we need to talk of water swimming in our mother's womb. The circle is endless but closed. We cannot escape the flow of consequence. So now, in these times, we need to talk of water. Climate and racial justice grows steadily. Is the earth, needs us, breaks open boxes, brings up bones needs to stop breaking bones, breaks barriers, needs to stop building barriers, grows with us, only grows with us, grows only through us. Are you coming to water it? Climate and racial justice is waiting for us, for you, for me, to jump in, to join in to stay in, keeping it spreading and spreading, including and including, scooping up and scooping in, till no one and no being and no thing is outside. There is so much to feel, to learn, so much to unlearn and unpack collectively. I want to learn about the soil and everything around me. There is so much love to be shared. Beautiful souls everywhere remind me why and who we are fighting for. Climate justice, all aspects of it. Listening, a tool that is much underestimated and underappreciated. Together, we shall be united in the global and in the local. There is so much to feel. How can writing be free when the human is not? So what is out there called poetry is still in jail or is locked. When writing is an expression of the soul's greatest desire to not talk about justice, which has made me a liar. It's good to bring out what is deep and is just towards solidarity and to decolonize, yet yeah, that is a must. To leave Earth intact is a necessary freedom that joins with voices that laugh and speak only wisdom. Come, hold my hand and love, live and be free, and we can both celebrate Earth's liberty.